What you gotta understand is that the mind of humans are limited, all humans, bring a limited system. So their grandest ideas are filled with contradictions. And all your dreams, if they were answered tomorrow, if you got down on your knees and prayed for the best of possible worlds, you would be unhappy because you don't know really what you want. Because sometimes if you met a girl that loved you, really loved you, and did everything that you wanted her to do, you might dislike her. Because you may need a girl who says, no, I don't go along with that. It may be the conflict that you need. You get down and you pray that I have a successful business, and you make a lot of money, and you walk out and look at this Beverly Hills home, long gone. It's 500,000, you only got 100,000, so you can't quite make it. Now you got two million, and they got this nice big house, but it only has five acres. There's another big house that has its own golf course. The reason we get sick emotionally is because all of us have notions of what we want, and what we want cannot be attained. If only my fucking mother wouldn't bother me. That's all I ask. She drops dead. Oh my God, I didn't want that to happen. I just didn't want her to bother me. I just prayed to God that mother wouldn't bother me so much. I didn't want her to drop dead. Why not? If your mother's a pain in the ass and she bothers you, if she drops dead, clunk, the bother is over. And you're not bothered anymore. There are a lot of people who think that way who don't even know they think that way. They drive it into what Freud used to call the unconscious. You got a brother that's a pain in the ass. If he dropped dead, life would be better. So most people, a lot of people wish you were all dead, including me. A lot of people wish we were alive. So humans that look for peace of mind, goodwill to all mankind, are people who are saying this, goodwill to all mankind that sees things my way. And those that don't, will get rid of them. And that's the church. All the religious people are going to heaven. The non-religious, right in hell, all of them. Every Sunday. People don't know what they're talking about. They don't mean what they say because they don't even know what they're saying. Now, on a superficial level, hey, let's all go have a cup of coffee. Sure, we mean what we're saying. We always mean what we're saying. Say, oh, that's a nice shirt you got. I like that. We always mean that. But when it comes to anything real, we don't mean it. When it comes to anything real, we're not sure what we want. Sometimes, most of us don't trust ourselves. We don't trust our own feelings. And if you don't trust your own judgment, how can you possibly trust anybody else's judgment?